Hi friends, I'm Tamsin from Bubbling Books and today I'm going to be sharing with you my 2018 Traveler's Notebook. Now there's actually two of them because the Traveler's Notebooks are split into two six monthly journals. I started this at the very beginning of the year. If you've watched my uh, Traveler's Journal haul and setup video, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you can watch it. The link is in the description box below. You might have also seen my Japan Travel Journal. I actually bought both of these journals while I was in Japan and I love them so, so much. For the first time in I think my entire life I've managed to actually keep a journal for the entire year so I'm pretty proud of myself for achieving that. What I'm going to do in this video is take you through a page by page of every single spread in my journal for 2018 and at the end of the video I'm just going to leave a little bit of time to show you a couple of my favorite spreads and some of the techniques that I used to put them together because I think that the way I've put these journals together is just a little bit different and I'd like to share that with you. So I hope you enjoy. If you keep a journal or a traveler's notebook, I would love to watch your videos. I'm really, really obsessed with watching flip throughs. So please leave a link for me down below.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was really fun to share all of the pages of my journal with you. Now I'm gonna share with you a couple of my favorite pages and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, some of the techniques that I used to create the page. So the first one is from January. I really love this spread. There's something about it which is just all of my favorite colors all together. So on this page, I've used a really cool washi tape that I bought in Japan. So I tried to match up some of the items that I bought while I was in particular places with the pages that I put them on. I've also used the official Traveler's Notebook stickers, which are different designs every year. This year, in 2019, they're actually music themed, um, but they were sort of train and travel themed in 2018. I also used some little cutout details from a box of cookies that I bought while I was in Japan. And of course, I've made some notes up the top here. I really used this journal, as you would have seen, in a really flexible way. And I didn't write on every page. And when I did write, there wasn't necessarily writing in the correct sort of sections. Another one of my favorite pages pops up in April. I love this spread. This was actually for uh, Easter, but as you can tell, there is not a whole lot of Easter details. There is a little Good Friday thing over here, which I cut out from a uh, state library magazine. And what I really love about this page, if you can kind of see, is that I've included some fake gold leaf on this page just to give highlights to a couple of little details. And I just love the effect. It's not something that um, I did on every page because it was just really fiddly to try and get it to stick in the right spots. But I kind of love the effect. Um, also over here was one of the first times that I made this kind of like little flap. Uh, using some washi tape and that was a technique that I used on a lot of pages. You probably saw me flipping them up and down in the flip through part of this video. April had a lot of favorite pages because I also really love this page. Now I'm not super happy with how this turned out. I tried to make a piece of white paper look kind of vintagey by using some watercolors and it kind of turned out a little bit orange. But what I do love is this up here. This is a drawing that I did based on a photo I took when I visited my grandma, which is what this little note down the bottom is referring to. So I painted this in watercolor and outlined it in a waterproof fine liner. And I've actually put it on a piece of an envelope which I received in the mail. So it's got this really cool Royal Mail sticker on it. And over here is the broken pieces of a leaf which I collected while I was at my grandma's house as well. So this is a real leaf um, and I've just stuck it in with glue and I just love the texture that it brings to the page. Another one of my favorite pages, this time in May. What I love about this aside from the blue color scheme as blue is my favorite color, is that I've included this little pocket here. So you can see it's like attached onto the page and I've used that to keep some tickets and business cards from a restaurant that I went to. It was a really nice way to keep those in there without having to cut them down when they didn't actually fit on the page. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. The other interesting thing that's on this page, which is probably included to better effect on some other pages, but is the wax seal. So I have a couple of wax seals. You might even be able to see them behind me in the video here. Um, and I really enjoyed putting wax seals in different places throughout this journal. Again, with the blue color schemes, this page from September is a big favorite of mine. I love that I came up with the idea of using a patterned page for the background on this side and the sort of textured brown paper as the background on this side. But if you look quite closely, you'll see that the little tabs that I've made to hold down these little things are actually pieces of this background paper. So it kind of ties the whole page together and I really love the effect that it's created. Also over here I've used a little vintage ticket um, as a little tab to hold down this and I just love how this page looks. It looks like something um, off a pin board or a memory board. Another technique which is a little bit hard to see in the flip through um, so I thought I'd share it with you now is actually sewing. So on this page I've actually sewn some threads onto a piece of paper. I didn't actually create this with the intention of putting it in my journal. I was just testing out some stitch widths while I was sewing a dress, but I love the look of it and I just kind of left the little strings on the end here um, and it looks really cool. Another spot where I did some sewing was actually a couple of pages later where I made this little beside the sea. I found this piece of kind of cotton uh, in the box of a pair of earrings my sister gifted me and onto it using some blue thread, I've just hand stitched some words. 
that were meaningful to me on that day. And I think it's just a really fun and interesting way of getting some more texture into your journal. Though what that does do is make a very thick journal at the end. The last technique that I used or thing that I used in my journal that you might have noticed are these little instant photos. I have a little Polaroid instant camera and I didn't take it with me as often as I should have in 2018, but I'm going to try much harder to do better this year. These were taken on a little trip that I did to Malmesbury and I actually made a video um, of my reading uh, habits while I was on that trip. So I'll put the link to that in the description box below as well. And on this page, as you can see, I've also included more leaves. I was really interested to see that the green leaf didn't actually change color. I was expecting it to go sort of a brownie yellow color, but I love that it stayed green. So that's it. Those are my traveler's journals from 2018. Thank you for taking the time to have a look through them with me. And I hope that you've enjoyed them. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing the way which I've recorded all of my memories for the year. Now, if you have created a video similar to this, or if you are a journaling fan like me, please leave a comment below. I would love to check out your work, whether it's on Instagram or here on YouTube. I'm really keen to make more videos about journaling. And I also have some workshops, potentially even some online workshops coming up. Uh, to do with travel journaling in particular. So I'm going to leave a link to my newsletter down below so you can subscribe and find out more.